stupidest thing just happened. I feel bad, man. I had to call the boss and just tell him, like, dude, I messed up. Stuff happens, man. It's, it's the road coming up. The last tire, he's putting it on. Crazy. Freaking crazy. So we just got loaded and we're actually pretty heavy. We're like 43,000 pounds and something. But this is a dry load. It's not a reefer load, but they wanted it in a reefer. This company was pretty crazy where we had to get loaded. And we just got big little sacks of, here I can show you guys. We just got that. And I don't know what it is. That's good. Let's gee man it just feels good to be back out on the highway that company was kind of crazy the space was so tight and like there's trucks coming in and going out and i just couldn't man they just that was not a place to <laughs> to try to set this gopro and film and vlog and all that stuff so i'm like ah forget it we arrived to fuel up Yeah, it's the first way. Yeah, you're the one I was going to railway, right? Yeah. All right, I got you, my friend. Uh, ticket number five zero at the fuel desk. Five zero. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Woo! Look at that. You can't get more perfect than that. I don't know if you guys can tell these numbers right here. 11,760 on the steer, 33,100 on the drive, and 33,080 on the trailers. That's perfect. Like, like... It, it doesn't get much better than this. Man, talk about being professional. <gasps> Just on a single way. Heck yeah. So hungry. Mmm. Have not eaten anything today. Something about Reuben sandwiches. I love them. By the way, it's already the next day. We're not that far from our delivery. About 500 miles to go. But anywho, y'all, I need to eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's chat after I'm done. I stopped at a Walmart earlier and picked myself like a whole bunch of fruit. That's what I got myself because getting fruit at truck stops is crazy, crazy expensive. I, I am so happy that I came over as a driver. It's crazy that this trucking industry, man, like at the rate it's going at. Sorry, man, my, my phone's going off the hook. Um, it's crazy that rates plummeted again and diesel went back up. What the heck? Um, I was already struggling as an owner operator, as you guys know, if you guys saw my previous vlog, check it out. I explained why I came over as a driver, but, you know, it, it's, it's, it's insane. It, it's, it's, it's seriously insane. I, I really don't know how they expect us to survive. I really don't. The more I see that these rates drop and these are going back up, the more I, I'm happy about the decision that I made. The fact that I went over as a driver working for the company, because guess what? It, it, it's it's more steady and not having to deal with the stress whether I'm gonna have a load or not you know I don't know man driving business really 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 just plummeted so I don't know what's going on America I really don't know what's going on stupidest thing just happened. I was driving on the highway and we entered a construction zone going right into a bridge 
and this specifically said trucks keep right lane because usually in these situations the left lane has very very little room for barely cars to pass the stupid trucker he decided to pass me on the left during this construction zone forced me to move to the right by the time he passed i swung back just got on the bridge and what do you know my trailer nick lit the little concrete on the bridge and i hit the rims because it was going to be the tires on the trailer or it's going to be the truck bent bent dead dead but man this is frustrating I can expect this from regular car drivers. Somebody driving a regular car does this because they just don't know what it means to be in a semi. But when another semi truck does this, another person driving an 18 wheeler, you gotta be kidding me, man. Stay on the damn freaking right lane. I mean, you can't drive like this, there's no way. That's the situation, that's the dilemma. I feel bad, man, I had to call the boss and just tell him like, dude, I messed up. And I felt bad because I mean, I'm the one driving this thing, you know? But stuff happens, man. It's it's the road. What you gonna do? Man, I'm pretty bummed out, man. I just, that's a bummer, man. It sucks. Keep it posted. Let's go. Thank goodness that those guys actually worked quick, but hey, we're getting unloaded. I'm not fired. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not fired. Dude, that's crazy. did not get fired my boss is super chill it, it was just unfortunate man that guy moved so close in the construction zone I, I had nothing else to do it would be the truck or the trailer tires oh, I chose trailer tires because the truck is more expensive so yeah but so far so good we got empty <laughs> let's G. even offer to pay because that's how bad I felt he's like don't worry about it he's like it happens and um, man just a blessing but anyways guys that's it for this trip hope you all enjoyed it we delivered everything is good don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys like this content if you guys want more thanks for your love comment down below like the video all that good stuff let's see